What's up, guys? And welcome back. We are now. It's Moff Gideon time. And as you can see there, Moff Gideon is a dark side support leader, Empire Imperial Trooper. So he's a support leader. And we'll get into his kit when we start doing the marquee event here. So today is December 3rd of 2020, and he just released just now at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And here we go. To start his marquee event, Tales from the Outer Rim number 4. And it's part of the same tagline as the other Mando characters. So Mandalorian, Grief Karga, and Cara Dune, and now we're on number 4, Moff Gideon. And you can see there, he's got some Death Troopers and Storm Troopers behind him, which we will add into our team, testing him out here. So, we got Moff Gideon, and we're going to have Borrowed, so... And he's going to be the leader of the event, so we need to do something that's here. Is to His leader ability is called Tactical Deployment. Start the battle if Moff Gideon has exactly one Dark Side tank ally, which is going to be the Storm Trooper. Two dark side attackers, which will be Death Trooper and I don't know who else. We're gonna find we're gonna figure that out. And one additional dark side support ally. All dark side allies gain 20% max health and max protection. So we will do that. So go to Empire here. Um is type of pilot. Yep, he's an attacker, so we'll have him. The Death Trooper is the other attacker. There we go. We're going to have Stormtrooper here, and let's go with, I don't know, Range Trooper here. Or is Pia, he's a support. So, uh, how about Probe Droid? Probe Droid is support, so let's do that. There we go. So, Moff Gideon led a faction of Imperial Remnants, and now we got him on the huddle tables. Moff Gideon wields the Dark Saber and can perform a Dark Saber Dark Saber lunge. This will inflict a permanent armor shred effect on the enemy. And you can see we got a lot of Mandalorians there on the other side, and there's that debuff, the uh, the uh, the demoralized. There it is, right there. Demoralized is the negative 25% offense, 10% critical chance, 15% critical damage, and does not stack with other debuffs. So we got TIE Fighter Pilot here. I just started gearing him up. Uh, so this calls all Imperial Trooper allies, so we only have two, so I won't call in the TIE Fighter Pilot. Which is weird that TIE Fighter Pilot's not considered one. Uh, let's get rid of Sabine Wren here. We're going to do it one time here, just so we can see Moff Gideon's things. There's that insight. So he gains five in uh, he gains insight every time he does a basic. And if he gets five, he gets a AoE ability. There we go. The Death Trooper there. There's insight number three. There we go. We're not going to use... Not as much. Probably gonna switch him out for. We're gonna go for full Imperial Trooper team on the next one. There we go. And there's that submissive volley. So, does he need. So, once he gains at least four, so not five, it's four, he gets that volley. So, it's submersive. Subversive volley is the AoE and it dazes. There we go. Dazes probably not on a basic attack. So dazes, yeah, it's supposed to daze, but it didn't daze Boba Fett or Jango Fett there. But either way, he's gone. There we go. So that's tier one there. Not sure why they all were scooted to the left side there, but we're gonna see. So Moff Gideon here. We're gonna go Imperial Trooper here. So we're gonna go Death Trooper, Storm Trooper. Range Trooper, and um, let's do let's do Piet here. 
There we go. So, yep, disruptive shot gives him insight. So he's already up to four. And then we do that submersive volley, which should daze them. Yep, there's that daze. Let's give this to the Stormtrooper. <laughs> We're going to do Dark Saber Strike against Cad Bane here. Should be getting Imperial Troopers to help attack now. There we go. Um, let's do that. Just get rid of both of Jango Fett there. I just want to use his basic the whole time. Not even use the call to assist, which we'll do it right now on Dengar. Yeah, calls all Imperial Trooper allies to assist. Here we go. Ten. So it's 25 to unlock, but we'll get him at a three-star rate. So we need Empire, or let's go Imperial Trooper. And we're going to change up the lineup here. Let's do Stark in the last one. So Know Your Adversaries is the one that does a Demoralized. And this one removes everybody's turn here. So. So. Do Dark Saber Strike. We're gonna give everybody turn meter on our team. Attack right there. Let's do that subversive volley. There we go. He should uh, revive. Yep. Revive. Goodbye. And goodbye, big. There we go. So we're gonna have two Imperial Trooper teams with the rest of the characters. So that's what uh. Stormtrooper, oh, they want us to do a P at here. So Magma Trooper, all right, we're gonna do Magma Trooper instead of Range Trooper. There we go, because uh, they're gonna show off the tactical deployment here, which is the dark side tanks. Yep. And everybody with leader ability, so no one here is a leader. So no one here is a leader, as you can see. So we're going to get rid of B1 first. There we go. We're going to use Armor Shred on the Jordica. There we go. We're going to feed that to Stormtrooper here. Insight number two. Let's do AOE. Say goodbye to what Tam Boy there. Let's go terminate. There we go. He is, is that what it feels like to have Magma Trooper hit that hard? That Magma Trooper is weak, so he only hits for like 2k. That one hit for 20k right there. Alright, so let's do it again, and I'll actually show you my Magma Trooper this time. There we go, Magma Trooper, and let's do... Well, we already have a tank, so support of Piet. So, let's go... Farmer Shred, the Chirp, the Elder. Give that to Stormtrooper. Okay. Let's do that. 
of the taunt. I don't think I need to get rid of the taunt. There we go. Let's get by that Chirpa and the Elder. Alright. See, only 3k in the base for me. That feels a Storm Trooper. Site number four. Give more stacks to that. And let's do subversive volley. There we go. Probably should have done the call to assist right there, but oh well. Let's just punish him with the Star Destroyer. And with Magma Trooper. Yeah, we reached our max mods. Only by one, though. We can unlock him, but we won't do that till the end here. Which is right here. So, they want us to use this all at G13. Oh my goodness. He still has the Dark Saber, but no relics. So we can save, we can unlock the relics, but we can't. So we're gonna go up against, oh geez, the Mando crew here. All right, no Baby Yoda in the front. No IG-11 in the Baby Yoda in the front. Probably the what if scenario if, oh, I think it's, it's IG-11, but he's in the stance of IG-88, I think. Go. Let's give that to him. So they want us to do P Ed with this. Hmm. Alright. Let's do AoE there. Yeah, it sounds like he has Baby Yoda, but he doesn't have Baby Yoda. It's taking so long there, AG-11. Taking so long, AG-11. Did you break? I think AG-11 broke. Hold on, let's restart the game here, because AG-11 decided to break. I think AG-11 broke the game. Yep, I think IG-11 broke the game. It was taking too long. <laughs> right, so for this final battle, we're going to go up to four speed. I just realized we were doing one speed that whole time. Just so we can see all the abilities, though. But now we're in the bonus tier, so we'll just speed things up a bit. There we go. Four times. I'm gonna go Dark Saber Strike. Alright. So now we're set everybody's turn meter. Call it the Atheist. Gives me another little failure. Stormtrooper, same for the comps, even though he's already got that. But you know, the defense and all that. Do the thing. Subversive Folly. Dark Saber Slash. Give me Mando versus Voth Gideon. And he's gonna get dazed again. Alright, final move. Ready? Let's call everybody to assist and I defeat Mando. Goodbye, Mando. Just like the end of season one. Moff Gideon literally did that move on his helmet and defeated him. 
So there you go. You got Moff Gideon and Imperial Trooper Squad. There we go. And now we can recruit Moff Gideon or activate Moff Gideon. There we go. Two star there, and promote to a three star. I won't get him geared up and leveled up just yet. But we will at some point. But not right now. Jesus, that face. Alright. And his hair. But hey, it's good to have another Imperial Empire character in this game. I know someone who will be very happy for it. So it's like we got the hierarchy. We got Emperor. Uh, we got Dark Lord. We got General, Grand Admiral, Grand Moff, Colonel, Admiral. Uh, he's Viceroy, but doesn't say it in the name. And he's Moff. So he's underneath Grand Moff. So does that mean he's higher than a general? I don't know, I have to look at the Imperial hierarchy again. But I think Moff is higher than general, and Moff is lower than Grand Moff. But is Moff higher than Grand Admiral? I don't know. But I mean, he must be working. It's supposedly, he's supposedly working for a Grand Admiral, then maybe he's underneath that. I don't know, just a whole entire thing. But that was the latest marquee event, the Tales from the Outer Rim number four, the Moff Gideon event. And we unlocked Moff Gideon here. Yep. There you go. And you can see his relic there is the Darksaber. Is Sabine's the Darksaber? Because I know she's another Rebels character that can use the Darksaber. Yep, hers is the Darksaber too. So we now have two abilities that can do Darksaber. So we have Darksaber Strike. And now we have, I think it's Darksaber Slash. Let's see. Dark Saber Lunge. <laughs> Dark Saber Lunge. Both do the exact same thing. Armor Shred. Just does Armor Shred. Even though it's just a regular lightsaber, it's special kind of lightsaber, but it's uh, it can only do armor shred. There we go. So that's the Moff Gideon event here. And now we will be back for another Grand Arena or another event, whichever comes first. Hopefully the next one is Empire. Or we'll see what the next Grand Arena is. But you'll be, we'll be back for another Grand Arena. And we will know which event it is or what faction it is by then. So we just finished the Bounty Hunters one. So what's going to be next? Who knows? Could be Geonosians. Could be Clone Troopers. Could be, I don't know, pretty much anything. Except for Knights, or unless they want to go back to Night Sisters. But I don't know could go back to First Order. Could do Jedi, even though we just did Jedi. We'll know at some point. So, that is it for now. And we'll be back when we do another event. See ya.